Assalamu alaikum, this is Muzammil and in this video I'm gonna demonstrate how to take an Android backup of your Android phone using CWM recovery. I'm going to use Micromax A110 smartphone for the purpose of this demonstration. However, this procedure can be used to take an Android backup of almost any Android phone. Now, what is a Nandroid backup? Well, I'm not going to explain that in detail. Suffice to say that it's perhaps the most complete backup of your phone and in my view is a must for any serious Android user. I think you may already know what it is since you have reached this video, but if you don't, I suggest you just Google it. Long story short, an Android backup backs up the ROM, data, user settings, applications of your phone and in some situations it could be a real life saver. Now before I dem demonstrate how to take an Android backup, which believe me is very easy, you need to have CWM recovery installed on your phone. What is CWM recovery and how do we get or how do we install it on our phone? I have made another video for that. If your phone does not have CWM recovery, please click on the link on your screen now to watch that video first. Once CWM recovery is installed on your phone, you can move on to take an Android backup. Moving on, first ensure that you have at least 50% battery power in your phone. Next, we need to boot into CWM recovery I spoke about just now. And there are a few ways of doing that, but you can use an application called Quick Boot, which is a free app and boots your phone into CWM recovery. I'll paste a link to this application in the description. In this video, I'm going to be using another application, but how you boot into CWM recovery isn't really important. You just got to get there somehow. So let me boot into CWM recovery with an application I have on my phone and I'll reboot into recovery. The device is going to shut down now and it will reboot into CWM recovery. This is how the interface of CWM recovery looks like. Uh, we have all these options here. Now please be informed that you cannot use your touch screen to move across the options here. Well, perhaps the newer beta versions of CWM recovery do perhaps allow you that, but I prefer using a non-beta version. Anyways, you can use the volume up and volume down keys to go up and down across the menu. And to select an option, you can choose the power button on your phone. Moving on, you're going to want to choose backup and restore option by using the volume up, down and power keys and then you need to choose the first option that is backup here. Once you choose backup you may be asked for a confirmation. Confirm and then the backup will start. The backup is going to be you know, it, it's, it's going to take some time depending on the size of your ROM, data and other variables. The backup will be stored on your SD card in a folder called Clockwork Mod. And uh, since it's going to be a complete backup of your phone, please ensure that there is enough space in your SD card. In my case, I, I needed about 1 GB of space in my SD card, but I think 1 to 2 gigabytes of space should be okay. Once the backup is complete, you will get a notification on your screen and then you can again use volume up, down and power keys to wade through the options and the option this time you need to choose is reboot so that you reboot your phone. That's it, you're done. Once you have done this, you have taken an Android backup of your phone which you can restore from the same menu. Thanks for watching this video and I hope this video has been helpful. Do comment and rate this video. Bye-bye.